Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. We're gonna get into the Seiko Patty Monster today. Is this the first Patty Monster? It's kind of racking my brain. There's, you know, the Patty Turtles, um, Patty Samurais. Um, there was a Patty Mini Turtle, I think. Um, I'm not sure there is was a Patty Monster. So we're gonna be kind of psyched to check those out today. Uh, so for the occasion, I put on my Orange Monster which I donned with a loomed bezel uh, that a buddy of mine gave me. It's pretty nifty. And then, love my blues, Maxi Marine chronometer. Oh, also featured in the video. Because uh, I didn't want to just do one watch, I wanted to do two. I got that, a really cool new Seiko 5 you know, sport diver. Uh, it's got like a hammered look, the dial silver with a lot of texturing to it, a lot of vintagey kind of patina. Really nifty. It's worthwhile uh, to make a cameo appearance in the video. Let's check them out. So as I said, we're getting into the uh, Seiko Patty Monster model number SRPE27. Uh, retail price is 525. It is just like, um, what, the SRP D25 and the SRP D20, I don't know, I, I, the numbers are, I might be off a little bit, uh, that came out last year, uh, except now we've got um, Patty branding on the dial. Patty is a professional association of diving instructors, um, basically one, one of the, I guess, one of the largest um, scuba diving outfits, if you will, um, that certifies divers. There are others. Um really nice looking watch patty's colors are red and blue so generally everything they do is red and blue but here they've actually gone with a black dial with a blue bezel red accent triangle obviously an iso 6425 rated diver as all monsters and prospects watches are it retains all the classic monster features okay this is a old uh, gen one uh, excuse me this is a Gen 2, you can tell by the shark teeth. And now these are the newer ones uh, with the rectangular um, indices. So we are looking at 42 millimeters in diameter, 13 thick to a nice hard lex crystal, 48 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. It is a 20 millimeter lug, but if you'll notice the bracelet certainly flares out. So it is a tight case fit. It's very nice. It's different than the uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 bracelets. I'm pretty sure they're not the same part number. And a beautiful monster bracelet with that polishing and brushing, uh, the polished center links, but not all polished. And then they come out with the brush link right after it. Uh, nice, secure, screw-down crown with aggressive knurling on it to make it easy to operate. Uh, it runs on Seiko's 4R36 movement, so we unscrew the crown, clockwise to wind it, set the time, seconds hand stops, one pull out, day and date. Uh, you will notice, of course, the use of the candy bar cyclops over the day and the date. Some like it, some hate it. I am, eh, I'm not over the moon about it, all the previous ones. This guy, they, you know, they had nothing over it. Uh, but, you know, there is increased legibility, but it is, for some people, it is an eyesore. Beautiful 120-click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. So unlike other divers, like the Turtles, the Samurais, the SKX, you've got, uh, it's, a, it's a solid one piece, this blue anodized, I don't know, what is it? Is it steel? I don't know if it's anodized then. Can you anodize steel? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think you anodize aluminum. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. But there is no bezel insert. It is just a, um, it's a solid one-piece bezel. Beautiful, nice markings. Uh, of course, there's Luma Bright all over. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, let's come in on the dial. And Seiko with the Prospects X right below it. Patty Automatic Divers 200 means it's ISO certified, as I said before. Classic monster case where the, um, the bezel guard comes up a little bit, but very aggressive, easy to grab and turn. Beautiful case back with the Seiko trademark. Wait, oh, not this trademark. Seiko Wave. Trademark meaning, you know, they use it all the time. Um, special edition because it is patty. Let's check out the tagging. So rightfully so, this has Seiko Prospects tags with the part number and the price. And then the other tag is because of their association 
with Patty. Uh, Seiko's association with Patty does go back a long time. They have been doing it for uh, for a while. Um, I guess before we move on to, let me see if I take cover everything. I think I did. 200 meters of water resistance. I said all that stuff. Before we move on to the next one, why don't we just do a loom shot of this guy, and then we'll, we'll pull in on the Seiko 5. So Seiko has gone with, again, the two-color loom. They do, I guess, more of this uh, bluish loom are bright on the hour hand and the markers, and then the minute hand uh, is green. Obviously, for a diver, minutes are paramount. Hours, not so much, so I like that they did it differently. It looks really cool, and then the bezel dot is done in green. Uh, and so here is, you know, how my monster is glowing. I didn't charge this one up, uh, but you can see. So this is the old green Luma Bright. So Seiko is pulling out the blue Luma Bright, which looks fantastic. So I will try that one on at the end of the video. I want to get into the other watch I wanted to feature today. It's so cool. I, I know people, some some people, you know, they look at the Seiko 5s, overpriced, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I get it, um, but what they're doing with styling, you cannot deny. This looks amazing. This is the uh, uh, SRP E79. This is part of their new sports collection. Uh, it has the 4R36, um, like the like the um, sport divers that came out last year, the SRP D5155, all of those guys, or beginning of this year. I'm not sure when it was. No, it was last year. I'll tell you, these years are, <laughs> these months at least are flying by. Uh, so, 42 and a half millimeters in diameter, 13 and a half thick to a flat hard lex crystal, 46 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, and we get a 22 millimeter lug. Exhibition, screw down, case back. It is not 200 meters of water resistant. It is not a dive watch. It is not ISO certified. So, it has a push pull crown, but still change the time, any change the day and date. Uh, but let's, the beauty of this watch, oh, 375 for this guy. The beauty of this watch is, is in the details. Check out the dial. So it's, I'm sure it's coming out fine. It's this hammered f dial, if you will. I don't know what you'd call it, hammer finish. All those lines randomly, although obviously they're not random. It's a set pattern dial, a set pattern when they make the dial. But it looks awesome. Matching chapter ring. And then you have this, you know, already patinaed case, you know, with the markings on it. it looks like it's got some good age to it. Drilled, drilled um, lugs that Monster had drilled lugs to. Even the crown, they did the same thing. And now the bezel, so aged bezel, and the insert is aged as well. No loom on the bezel, obviously. 120 click, unidirectional, ratcheting bezel. But this thing just looks awesome. Let's get into the strap for a second, because the strap is interesting. They did this on some of their other watches recently that I don't think I covered. Some of their quartz um, inexpensive watches. It is a rubber strap, so obviously very comfortable. It's got some uh, recesses on the bottom for water to run out. Um, but they've put in a leather inlay and rubber reinforced. I don't know if it's real leather. I'm not sure. But it certainly gives a cool look. I don't like the strap, <laughs> but I like what they did with it. I could see this obviously on a uh, maybe a gray strap or a dark gray strap. I think it would look, look really cool. But of course, even the buckle matches. Really, the, the details are here. The details are certainly here. Looks amazing. Um, let's turn out the lights on this guy. So just your straight green Luma Bright. Looks, looks terrific, very easy to read. So here is that Patty Diver on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Plenty of room to go. I don't know if I showed the class, but it is a four position micro adjust um, above the bone, below the bone. 99.999% um, sure it's going to have a uh, a diver's extension. I mean, it's got it, right? It's a dive watch. Yeah, there it is. Right there, diver's extension. Let's try on the five. This one got a lot of attention on Instagram when I posted the the dial shots because it looks amazing. So cool, uh, so different. Really looks nice. Strap on my six and three quarter above below. I can't, the rubber is sticking to my skin, but you have good sizing and you know plenty of room to go in either direction on this on the strap. So that'll do it. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIwatch.com showing you cool, cool, two cool new Seikos, the Patty Monster and the Five Patina. Now someone will come up with a cool name for it. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. 
and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.